Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Now this has been a highly requested video of the last year and that's how to clean and care for your nail art brushes to keep them perfect. You will have to bear with my voice though as I am recovering from laryngitis this week. First I'm going to show you how to remove gel polish from various different types of nail art brushes. And first I'm using a fine detailer brush and I'm just saturating those bristles to show you. And all of the brushes I'm using in this video are from my own range, divine by Natasha Lee. And there are links in the description if you wanted to purchase. So as you can see those bristles are really saturated but I've just taken a pad dampened with 99% isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. And we are just stroking that brush across that pad in the same direction to keep the bristles all nice and smooth as you turn the brush as you can see here. Once you've removed all of the spare gel polish from the brush, we're going to take some cuticle oil and this is my homemade cuticle oil and there is a link in the top right corner of how you can make your own. But we're just taking that brush and stroking it through that cuticle oil and as you can see it makes that brush perfectly sharp again. Now onto striper brushes and these are very similar to the detailer brushes but we do have to be a little more careful because it tends to hold onto the gel polish a little more stubbornly. Again I've got that brush thoroughly saturated all the way through and this is just to show you how to effectively remove it. And then we're just going to again stroke that brush along the pad. Now just to show you what I'm doing is I'm making sure the ferrule or the metal bit at the end is touching the pad as I stroke through and that helps you to get right down the full length of those bristles. If you want you can fold your pad in half and just run the bristles through which is also super effective and it gets rid of everything for you and then again just run those bristles through some cuticle oil turning the brush as you do and it stores it back into shape. Make sure you put your lid on your brush and when you next use it, just wipe with a little isopropyl alcohol to remove that cuticle oil. For clean up brushes, I'm just using this in the same way you'd probably use it going around the nail to show you. We're just turning it over and again, always stroke it in the same direction. And you can see it's made it go a little bit fluffy at the end, which is normal. But again, we're going to run through that cuticle oil after we've removed the gel polish. And then if you want, you can pinch with your fingers and that's to restore the original shape. There you go, look how sharp that is. Put the lid back on and store it. Now for glitter brushes, this is a little bit different and probably a little bit easier. And I'm just picking up some glitter on my brush as though I've been using it on an actual nail. Get some glitter onto that brush. And all we're going to do is take a dry pad and you're just going to run the brush over the dry pad to remove any of that extra glitter. And you can see that most of it will come off as you're rubbing it on the pad. Alternatively, you can rub it on your finger like this and it will remove any extra glitter, but do remember to wear gloves if you're doing that. And over time, your brush will go like the one on the right and that's what you want. That makes it perfect for picking up glitter. However, for pigment brushes, we want to keep those flat. So we're going to treat this a little differently. I have taken deliberately very intense black pigment here and I am loading it up on this brush in a way that you never normally do to show you how to remove it because if you're going from a dark pigment to a light you don't want that color transfer. Look how much pigment is on this brush. Now I'm starting here with a dry lint free pad to remove any of the excess that's sitting loose on those bristles and you do need to be firm when doing this but as you can see I'm not scrubbing that brush back and forth. I am always going in the same direction before swapping onto a pad dampened with 99% isopropyl alcohol. And I'm really going for it there because like I say, with black it is extreme, but I wanted to show you the most extreme color. It may well discolor the bristles, don't worry, that's perfectly normal, and it won't affect the function of the brush. But after drying it on a dry pad, I'm again running it through that cuticle oil, and making sure the tip stays nice and sharp before I put the lid back on to store it. For fan brushes, these are quite fun to try and clean. Generally, I don't use my fan brushes with actual polish. I use them for removing pigments and glitters, so I would brush them on a dry pad like this to remove any excess. However, if you do have gel polish on your brush, I'd recommend sandwiching it between two pads dampened with isopropyl alcohol 
and pulling it out to keep your shape and then just rub it briskly but again we're not scrubbing it back and forth I'm always keeping that bristle nice and flat and do that on a dry pad and you can see here what I mean is I'm not scrubbing back and forth I'm making sure we always go the same direction on those bristles and that will help dry it if you need to use it again straight after now for nail polish we need to do things a little differently so I'm popping on some nail polish this time and with the fine detailer brush we do the same as we did with the gel polish except we do it with either pure acetone nail polish remover or ideally really an acetone free nail polish remover and you can see again I'm doing this here where the ferrule of the brush goes against the pad and if it's really stuck around the ends of the bristles there you can do a little scrubby action very gently but you can see it separates the bristles until you put it through the cuticle oil train it again get it nice and saturated make sure your shape is perfect again before storing your brush and that will help to retrain the brush again with a striping brush it's exactly the same thing again however you might find when using with nail polish it's easier to fold over the pad to really get that nail polish out of the bristles run it through some cuticle oil retrain the shape and then put your lid back on Next we're doing the clean up brush and I'm getting quite a bit on this, you wouldn't normally have that much on but you can see that I'm brushing either side, you can again sandwich the pad which really helps to remove it before you saturate it with that cuticle oil and when you want to use all these brushes again just wipe them gently on a pad with isopropyl alcohol to remove that cuticle oil. Finally I'm going to show you the fan brush and this will be a lot more stubborn. So you can see here it's quite hard to remove nail polish from a fan brush so again we're best folding that pad, holding forcefully and pulling the brush out. Be careful not to scrub those bristles but once they're clean we're going to go straight back in with the back and forth nice and smoothly on a dry lint free pad. This will help you get your bristles back into shape without damaging them and ensure it's ready to use again. I hope you found this video helpful, it has been something that you guys have really requested I wanted to bring it to you this weekend even though I have the most bizarre voice going ever. But thank you very much you guys. Please let me know what you thought. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below to let me know what you'd like to see next. And I will see you all very, very soon.